in that video, we were just speeding through all the nights. <laughs> I know, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Moving along. Well, welcome back. Before the break, we showed you how Sherry Zatman, with Perfectly Planned by Sherry, did all of these incredible decorations. Now it's our turn to try something. And this is part of our holiday crossover, where we open the advent calendar for a different topic each day on PTL and on Talk Pittsburgh. And today we're talking Hanukkah. So, Sherry, we're going to make these right here. And it really, it starts so with this. So, what I love about this is they are really simple and accessible items mm -hmm. and I think with just a little bit of time it is easy to do so uh, these are actually um, wine glass candles and I didn't realize that when so, I so well you can so like, these are wine glasses and the right. one that is the shorter one over there in the trio I used a wine glass and then also if you have any um, other stemmed candle holders and you want to kind of dress them up this, this is, a, is great a great way, way to okay. do it okay so we start with a just a small chandelier, like a small mm -hmm. uh, lampshade that you would put on a very small lamp or chandelier. And actually the one you have, David, I think I did yeah. not bend the inside, but if oh, you I'll look, I actually took the inside and bent it back so okay. it can fit into. So bend that back. Exactly. Doing it now. The inside can fit. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I bent it so it will fit inside when we, you know, kind of adjust that later. Okay. So very easy materials. You don't need a hot glue gun. I oh, want a hot all you gun. need, all you need is your lampshade. Okay. And the scissors. Don't run with and scissors. a bunch of these strips. Okay. Which looks like spaghetti. I know. All right. Curled spaghetti, but. Um, How are these sticky already? So they're sticky already, and actually what they do, you can buy them at a craft store, and they come in sheets. Uh, these are actually smaller sheets. They come in big sheets as well. So everything, um, I'm going to give you this one because I already started it. Yeah, that's I think a nice it makes start. it a little easier. Yeah. So what I did, and you can see, is I trim it in the blue, and I have two different shades of blue. I have the turquoise, and I have the royal blue. So I start at the top, and the, you can do the top, you can do the bottom. And I do a nice pretty trim first. And then you just and kind then, of And then you just wrap it around to the edge. Yeah. So you just follow the edge. And it's sticky on the back. So super easy. You just peel it off. Just peel it off a little at a time. Yes. Well, actually, you can pre, with those, you can pre peel. And this one I pre peeled. And then you have your scissors because when you get to the end, you will cut. But it also sticks to itself. So if you don't want to cut, you can just. Wrap it over. And this is something to put and in a little bit of time and you're going to keep these. You're going to be able to use these again and again. Well, that's what I love about it. You know, Hanukkah is eight nights and uh, it's early this year. So also if you want to have your home decorated for the entire month of December, mm -hmm. these are items that uh, you can do and you can keep. And uh, they look great on a mantle. They look great on your uh, dining room table. So yeah, so we're just going to just keep doing this. Okay. And you just peel them off. And I want to show you something because when you wrap them, sometimes you'll notice exactly. I see you're already doing it. So sometimes you will notice that you'll it's get like around a short. and <clears throat> exactly, and it's a little bit short. Yeah. So when that happens, I'll just cut off. So you I have mine. exactly. So this is why it is so easy because you figure out how many you're short. I'm four short. You're and four you short, and out. then you cut. Yes. And this is yeah. something you could do with kids, right? It, it definitely it's a kid activity, and if you want to make it easy, um, like I tried to do for today, I pre-cut all the strips because that's a bit of the time-consuming part. Yeah. Yes. Right. But yeah. if you have more time and then you want your kids to be able to sit down and just start right away, then um, they can I have all the materials. Love this. So you just keep going and then you can add, you know, more colored strips anywhere throughout. Like with these, I just added um, some different designs, you know, halfway down or at the bottom or I even did two-tone with the accent blues, depending on what you want. You take such simple <laughs> things and make things look classy yeah. and fun and just pop. Like you That's have such a, a good idea about all this kind of stuff. And we wanted to share this for you um, because these are some of the things that we made today. And Sherry, you're sharing instructions for people so that they can do these too. Yes, this is very easy, and I love that it's all about light and bringing some more light into the world. Oh, Sherry, we always have such a good time with you. In fact, I forgot that I was on TV for a little bit. I, I did too. I got really <laughs> into this, and I was like, I got to count beads. I'm not going to. Right, it's arts and crafts <laughs> day here at the studio. You put the candle in the box. Yeah, exactly. And then, so then when you're done, you put your candle 
right in there. And right, put your candle in. And then the reason that we bent it is so that we we'll can just kind fit of right it on and top. Fit right in there. What and when it's all done, it's going to look like that. Make a little trio of them. Perfect. It's perfect. Sherry, thank you so much as always. And for more ideas and information from Sherry, you can visit our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. We're going to have a link for you there. And make, make sure to check out the tutorials on some of these things. Absolutely.